What's up? My name is Nucleo, and today I'm doing a review of a Hazard CND CGM69 gaming mouse produced by Canyon. This mouse is made recently and is Canyon's most recent product. It is suitable for all types of gamers, for it is very simple yet very complex. When I was first opening the box, the mouse seemed very big and I thought it would not fit in my hand, but that was just the picture on the box, because the mouse fitted perfectly. The ergonomic design is very well done. So this mouse has 9 programmable buttons. The ones that are highlighted are the DPI buttons. The upper one is to increase your DPI, while the bottom one is to lower DPI. Increasing DPI can help in many games, depending on what's your playstyle. In this button there are 5 small weights, each with a mass of 5 grams. This part is used to moderate the weight of the mouse. Some gamers fancy heavy mice, while other gamers like their mice really light and not too heavy. This is a cool addition to the mouse and Canyon really stepped up their game adding this cool feature. Now, there are the side buttons. There are 4 in total, there are 2 buttons on the upper side and 2 at the bottom. By default, upper buttons are used for exploring the internet. The left button is intended for going a page forward if you accidentally back off an internet page, while the right one is used for going back one internet page. These buttons can be used in various games to do different things which you can't do on the keyboard. They are nicely placed because they are next to your hand and are easy to click. Last but not least, we have the lower two buttons. By default, the left one is used to make double clicks and the right one is used to jump to desktop. It's like a Windows key plus D button. From the Canyon page, with the mouse, a driver meant for this mouse can be downloaded. In this little app there are ways to select which control we want for a specified button. For example, on the side button we can assign anything we want. That can be anything from changing the LED mode on the mouse to changing websites while surfing on the internet. This is all by user's command and he can change it as much as he likes. Just a little side note, these commands are made by default and the user can change it like he wants to. So, uh, that concludes my review of this mouse. Uh, this mouse is excellent because it has multiple options that you can make it your own way. Uh, it's cheap, by the way. It's like uh, $14 or 12 euros. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.